guys, so welcome to this episode of History Saver 1941. Really quick episode, but um, I wanted to do this unboxing video. I just cut the box open, have not taken anything out. Don't really know what all is in here yet. But this is a box of stuff from our good buddy Karsten Michael over in Germany. I know some of what's in here, I don't know everything. But uh, we got some really cool stuff he sent over to us. And we're sending him a package back. The first thing we're going to take out is uh looks like fruit soup never had this um he was telling me about this this is supposed to be really good so can't wait to check that out um we also let's go for this we have what is this don't really know what this is um could be bread i don't think so i don't know um Hmm, some kind of uh, food of some sort. Um, I'm not familiar with what that says. So I know some German, I don't know uh, everything, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll check that out. We also have a bag here. Um, hard to camera work, let's put it up. Bag here, oh, this is a, uh, what well, appears to be a ration. So we've got some very cool stuff in here. Uh, some stuff to send along. Let's see. Let's see what we have. So, it looks like components. We have some ooh, hot chocolate drink orange flavor. So, orange flavored hot chocolate. Never had anything like that before. Uh, some Jacobs 2 in 1 coffee. That sounds really good as well. We have some biscuits. Three variety, uh, varieties of biscuits. Pretty cool. Can't go wrong with that ever. We have some, uh, looks like Russian crackers here. Also have some, uh, looks like soup. Some more hot chocolate orange flavor. Can't wait to give that a try. We have some um, French army biscuits. These are all really good. I love the French Army biscuits. Some more Russian crackers. So just a uh, bunch of components here for a ration. Isotonic drinking powder with grapefruit. That is a big bag. Wow, we have a lot of stuff in here. We have, uh, I don't know, some kind of German soup appears to me. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. Or German drink mix, I'm sorry. Some more Jacobs. Some uh, tea. We got something else here, bouillon appears to be. Some German coffee. And I love the spelling of this. It's the same as the spelling during, on World War II coffee. So we'll probably save this and drink a lot of this stuff at some reenactments and stuff use it in the field we'll review some of this as well we've got a uh, i think this is another drink here uh yeah isotonics um maybe grapefruit so we've got some commando caffeinated or cafe chocolate so like some mocha chocolate um we've got a Peach energy bar, apricot, peach apricot energy bar, and just a lot of cool stuff. Okay, back with you. We uh, took a minute, put all that back in the pouch, and we've got something else here. I'm going to save this for a minute. Um, we have a Norwegian Arctic field ration here. We also have a Hulk, dude, this is awesome. This is so freaking cool. This is a whole case of Shoka Cola. I will not have to buy Shoka Cola for a very long time. Thank you so much, Carson, for sending this. Man, this is awesome. That is a lot of Shoka Cola. This thing is very heavy. That is a ton of Shoka Cola. We also have something I've been wanting forever. Uh, Carson went over and beyond on sending me this. I've been wanting to try one of these since I started ration reviews here on YouTube. Have not been able to get my hands on one. Thanks to Carson, we now have one. This is a German uh, Federal Defense ration. Um, 
the ICR for Germany, and this is the vegetarian menu. So it was okay to send this overseas. And dude, this bag alone is so awesome. It's got the iron cross right here on the bottom. Check out how awesome this ration is. It's very heavy. That thing weighs about four pounds. Wow, that is amazing. Uh, we also have another Norwegian Arctic Field ration. Never had one of these as well. So I can't wait to try these. Um, this is a vegetarian mix. Uh, we got the Mussolini on the other I showed you. And dude, Carson sent over something else really cool. Pardon the camera work. We're going to set this to the side for a second. Um, take all this out. We have something else here. Smarties. This is the real deal. Nestle Smarties. These things are so good. I'm going to enjoy those. And we also have a very cool model kit here. Um, for those of you that do not know about uh, about Carson and what he does, he is a very talented uh, model bu uh, builder. His stuff is absolutely awesome. He's sent along a um, German model here of a German tank. Check this out. Wow, Stalingrad 1943. This is a Panzer uh, 521. Wow. Um, 12.8 uh, centimeter. Wow, this is awesome check this out this is very cool uh pretty big tank here this is a 135 scale and uh yeah i'll put these things together sometimes for fun and uh put them in a war room you know on display but uh that's very cool and then we have one more thing we have not open here um that we're gonna open now and i'm gonna um Come right back to you. I'm going to get this open and we'll see what's inside. All right, guys, back with you. All right, guys, back with you. This is the most awesome thing that uh, I have seen in a long time. Uh, Carson found some original German World War II field bandages and sent them over. And, man, check these things out. These are so awesome. You know, stuff like this is hard to find in the States. Anything German World War II is really hard to find in the States. And when you do find it, it's extremely expensive. Check out the condition of these. That is just absolutely freaking phenomenal. That is so cool. So we have one there and we have another here. And this is my favorite. Dated 1942. Um, you got directions on the back of it. But look at the condition of this. It's like brand new, like it just come out of the factory. And these will actually fit in the pockets of your tunic on the inside. So when you get wounded, it's right there handy next to you. And uh, check that out. That is original from World War II, both of those. They're not reproductions. These are the real deal. And we also have something else here in this little uh, pouch package here. Want to be very careful with these. They're very old, so we're just going to slide them out just like this. There we go. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this, this is a uh, German manual for the Wehrmacht Army, dated Berlin, 1939. Check this out. It's got the writing. It's got the original uh, owner's name on the front. Wow, that is so cool. Oberfuhrer. Uh, looks like, um, can't read the name really, Carstasius, something like that. That is really cool. So it has the actual name of the person who owned this manual. That is neat. And then we have another field manual here. This is an infantry field manual dated 1941. These are impossible to find in the States too, by the way. Uh, you can find them, but they're very expensive when you do. So, uh, Karsten, we owe, I owe him a ton for these. This is so cool. Um, anytime I get anything like this from World War II, especially German, it is just awesome because, I mean, this is a piece of history you're holding in your hand. Check that out. Army Field Manual, Wehrmacht Field Manual from 1941. And then we have another small manual here. It also is named to the same um, soldier, Oberfuhrer, Carstius, so um, probably going to all three be 
from him. So it's pretty cool. All these manuals were named to the same person. So that means this is this was his manuals during World War II, and this was dated 1938. So this is very early war, right as the war was starting. Um, these have a lot of history behind them, and they're a very cool piece of history. Um, I can't wait to translate these and read them. So uh, really, really cool. So anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this box. Thank you all for, uh, for tuning in. Thank you so much, Carson, for sending this stuff over. This is absolutely just phenomenally cool. Um, I can't, I can't wait to put this thing together and try the rations, and especially trying the hot chocolate uh, orange. That's gonna be really neat. And the Coca Cola, man, I have Coca Cola for a reason here. Um, that Coca Cola will last me forever. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Carson, um, and thank you all. For uh, everyone for your support that we're going to sign off of here. We'll see you on the next episode of History Saver 1941. Until then, keep observing history. Stay safe.